On the world news tonight from Baba Magide Imo Television, first the headlines. Senate confirms appointment of CBN Governor nominee Cardozo deputies. Edel Malud invite Prophet Mohammed's vitreous to Numbu Odis Muslim. NLC TUC declare indefinite strike from October 3. Reps move to protect mobile royalties, music rights, observe minute silence. And on sports, a Spanish football club plans tribute for Mobad. And a main sports story for this hour, Sport Minister arrives Egypt to bid for Afcon 2027 Austin Rive. I am Mauri Prabhi Lawa, the news in detail. The Senate has confirmed the appointment of Yemi Kadozo as the Central Bank of Nigeria Governor and four others as Deputy Governors of the Apex Bank. They were confirmed on Tuesday following a screening by the upper legislative body. The Deputy Governors who were confirmed are M.M. Nana Usoro, Mohamed Saini, Abdullah Idetijo, Philip E. Keazo, and Bala Bello. To the next story. President Bola Tinumbu on Tuesday urged Nigerian Muslims to emulate the virtues of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu as they celebrate Eid al -Malud. The president, in a statement by his spokesman, Chief Ajumi in Galali, beyond celebrating the day marking the birthday of Holy Prophet Muhammad, the period should be used for deep introspection and fervent prayers. Adherents should make deliberate efforts to adhere to the teachings of Prophet Muhammad. There are great lessons of devotion, perseverance, tolerance, humility, and selflessness that we can all learn from the life of Prophet Muhammad, Tinubu was quoted as saying, urging religious leaders to use the period for prayer for the country. Tinubu urged them to admonish their fellows to take their appropriate lessons from Prophet Muhammad's life and their commitments to the country. Nigeria has arrived at an important junction while the government is taking all necessary measures to make the country secure and economically viable. We need the full support of the citizenry in the form of patriotism, patience, and prayers. The light is sat on the bright at the end of the tunnel, the president affirmed. President Tinumbu also urged Muslims celebrating the Malud festival to extend their hand of fellowship to the needy and vulnerable in the spirit of the season, while praying for the country and our leaders at all levels. The Nigeria Labour Congress, NLC, and the Trade Union Congress, TUC, of Nigeria have declared an indefinite strike starting from October 10. The two labour centres have told Nigerians to stockpile foodstuffs because the strike would shut down economic activity in the country. The president of NLC, Joe Ajairo, and the TUC, Festus Osufo, disclosed these after their separate emergency National Executive Council meeting in Abuja today. According to the communique read by the two presidents, the indefinite strike was as a result of the alleged insensitivity of the government of the plight of Nigerians as a result of the removal of petrol subsidy and continuous demonstration of unwillingness and complete lack of initiative. Moving on to the next story. The House of Representatives has summoned the Nigeria Copyright Commission, NCC, to develop means to protect the music rights of the late singer, Ilerio Lua Aloba, also known as Mobad. This resolution was a sequel to a motion of urgent public importance moved by Baba Jimmy Benson, APC Lagos, on Tuesday. Mobad 27 passed away on September 12th and was buried the following day in Ekorodu, Lagos State. However, following public outrage, the police schemes, I beg your pardon, exhumed the body for autopsy in the course of investigation to his death. Moving the motion, Mr. Benson said, young people in Nigeria are still seeking to know the cause of the death of the superstar. He explained that the lawmakers need to monitor the ongoing investigation in order to protect the legacy of the late music star. And to the next story as regards Mobile's death. Perez Medical Hospital, where singer Lerio Lua Loba, popularly known as Mobad, who was allegedly taken as release a statement concerning the singer's death. In the statement shared on its Instagram page on Monday night, the hospital stated that the singer was brought in dead at the hospital. The hospital also debunked rumors that the singer was admitted to the hospital. The statement partly read, 
the attention of the management of Perez Medicare Hospital has been drawn to the misleading and false information being circulated in some social media platforms that Mr. Ilinu Lua Ola Dimitri Aloba, aka Moba, died in our medical facility. We consider it pertinent to put on record that at about 4.30 p.m. on the 12th of September 2023, the lifeless body of Mr. Ilinu Lua Ola Dimitri Aloba, aka Mobad was brought to our medical facility and our medical team immediately sprang into action and after assessment it was discovered that there was no sign of life no central or peripheral pulse no heartbeat no recordable vital signs and his pulses were fixed and dilated on attempting cpr cardiopulmonary resuscitation regal multi stiffening of some part of the body in relation to death was observed on the persons who brought in to our facility were informed that it was a case of BID brought in there. Upon inquiry about the circumstances leading to the emergency, our team was informed that the disease was being treated at home by a nurse and that she administered injections on him. It read further, our team thereafter advised that the body be taken to the nearest government hospital where it can be deposited in the morgue. Let it be known that Mr. Lilo Lua, aka Moba, was not a patient of Paris Medicare Hospital and was never admitted to our hospital at any material time whatsoever. Moving on to the next story, from a trending story, the Quara Upper Area Court sitting in Ilori on Monday granted bail in the sum of 5 million naira to Ishe advocate Abdelaziz Adebola alias Daniel Lorum who is being prosecuted for criminal defamation and public disturbance. The presiding judge, Mr. Sunday Adeni, granted the bail with two shorties in like sum. The judge said the two shorties must be reliable and must be resident within the jurisdiction of the court. The two shorties must provide evidence of having five million naira in their respective bank accounts. One of the two shorties must be a community leader in a lorry, while the other must own land with a certificate of occupancy properly signed by the government. The two shorties must have evidence of tax payments to the government at least in the last seven years, he ruled. Daniel Lawrence's lead counsel at the Mola Bank lamented that the bail was stringent, but said we will explore the opportunity offered by the law to meet the bail conditions. Daniel Lawrence and Oluwola of today Chief Ademola Olawori are standing trial on five counts of alleged criminal conspiracy, inciting public disturbance, the service of public peace criminal defamation of character and intentional insult before the upper area court. The offense, according to the prosecution, was contrary to section 97, 210392 and 114 and the Panel Court of Nigeria. While Oluwola was admitted to bail last week, Wednesday, the ruling on Daniel Lawrence's case was deferred until Monday because the prosecution opposed his bail application. This case was adjourned until October 23rd, 2023, for further hearing. Moving on to the next story. The UN stressed on Tuesday it was opposed to most dress codes for women after France banned its Olympic athlete from wearing the Muslim hijab during the 2024 Paris Games. No one should impose on a woman what she needs to wear or not to wear. United Nations Right Office spokeswoman Marta Otado told reporters in Geneva. Otado's comments came after the French sport minister said the country's athlete would be barred from wearing a scarf during the games, in line with the country's strict rules on secularism. French sport minister Amélie Audi Castera repeated on Sunday that the government was opposed to any display of religious symbols during sporting events. What does that mean? That means a ban on any type of proselytizing. That means absolute neutrality in public services, she told France 3 Television. The France team will not wear the headscarf. Otalo did not address France stance directly, but she stressed that the International Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women ruled out discriminatory practices. Going to sports. Spanish La Liga's club side Cadiz FC has proposed tribute to late singer Ilero Lua Aloba, popularly known as Moba. The 27-year-old singer died on September 12. His death has continued to generate reactions, the latest being from La Liga side Cadiz CF, who expressed heartfelt condolences to the family of the late singer. 
The club announced in the post on their official X page that they would display a mobile jersey on their substitute bench during their game against Rayo Volcano to give the team strength. The roads at I am mobile underscore will be with us for tomorrow's game against Royal Volcano. The singer's Cardista shirt will be on the bench to give us strength. We need to win the match. Spanish Football Club plans tribute for Mobad. And still finally, coming from sports, the Minister of Sport, Development Senator John Owa Eno arrived in Egypt Tuesday with representative of the Nigeria Football Federation to be the host African 2027. Information report that President Bola Tinumbu on August 16 appointed the Cross River State Bond politician as Minister of Sport Development. In a post via Eno's official X account on Tuesday, he wrote, with representatives of the Nigeria Football Federation NFF, I have arrived in Cairo, Egypt. We are here to attend the Confederation of Africa Football CAF Executive Committee meeting as representatives of the Nigerian government. Stating for the other reason for his arrival in Egypt, he wrote, our attendance is because Nigeria and the Benin Republic submitted a joint bid to host Afghan in 2027. Other government and members associations bidding to host Afghan in 2027 will also be in attendance. With our sports story, we've come to the end of today's world news from Baba Bagede Imo Television. Before we go, some major headlines. Senate confirms appointment of CBN Governor nominee Kadozo deputies. In El Molud, in by Prophet Muhammad's virtues, Tinumbu urges Muslims. NLCTUC declare indefinite strike from October 3rd. Reps move to protect mobile's royalties, music rights, observe minutes of silence. Mobile was brought in dead, says Lagos Hospital. And on sports, Spanish football club plans tribute for mobile, Cadiz. Sports Minister arrives Egypt to bid for Afghan 2027 for Nigeria. For more updates of our broadcast on YouTube, our handle is Baba Bagede Imo Television. Kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell, select option all to access all of our broadcasts. On Facebook, Bagede Imo with Alawi Adibayo. Please like and follow the page. For other placement of goods and services, coverage of events and functions, please dial the phone number streaming on the screen. Thank you for watching. I am Mori Fabila Lawa. Good evening.